Hey everyone, welcome back to another Turbo Cop cast, and today it is uh, the Castapalooza. This is game three of that day. Uh, I wanted everyone to know that uh, right now it's been four hours into Tip of the Hats, and we are now up to 30k. Uh, that's $30,000 all to charity. Uh, you can enter now, of course. Uh, this is super, super duper late, but maybe they'll do some sort of follow up later. There will be another, after the success they've been having today, I'm certain there'll be another Tip of the Hats here. Uh, and you guys should definitely come out and uh, go see it. Right, last time I checked, they were doing some MGE crazy tourney uh, with some really good players like Shrugger and Mela and Mangachu and all those good guys. Uh, really good. Uh, and uh, I think after that, they did a show match before then, and then I think there's a community match and maybe some ulti duo, which is a 2v2 tournament. So regardless, you came here today to hear about these two Steel Red teams playing on Swiftwater. Uh, you can see Swiftwater. It looks like we've got on the red side, we have Bubber Duckies, and on the blue side we have the Noble Gases. So, uh, Blue Scout, Cathy Ace, Capsides as the Soldier. Ooh, gonna hit a Sticky Trap immediately. Good Sticky Trap. Twitch TV slash Potatoes, Pyro. Demo, uh, Senpai is dead. Senpai will always be dead. Professor Knotts is the Medic. No, Newell, Newell, I'm gonna say Newell, is the Heavy. Biscuit Knot is the Engineer. Pushing the card forward, and the Scout's gonna engage on the Soldier here. Forces him off. Heavy engaged right onto him, cleans up on that on that soldier whose name is Sea Dead. Anyway, finishing off the round out here with the snipes, we got Happy Time Harry. Uh, and then we've got Rice Krispies over here as the spy. Oh, run right into a scout. You're gonna it's cleaned out. That was uh Kai looking for team. I'm not gonna pronounce the rest of those letters. But just Kai looking for team. Uh, as the scout. Sea Ted, uh, trademarked unlimited as the soldier. And actually Ragnico Ragnacolop Ragnacolopolis. Ragnacolopos. Ragnacolopos. Ragnarok Kalakos. He's he's gonna be Rage. Rage is the spy. Core fire is the medic. Got a hit uh, Hydro Senpai over here on sniper side. Many Senpais today. Beck Noir, that's a homestuck reference for all you super nerds out there. Setting up for the second point already. One for 104 for the first point. Pretty standard. Core fire not forced to pop yet. We got Wawa playing the uh, ever important demo man as always. Blue Phoenix Bear trying to keep his medic alive as long as possible. Uh, saw Kai already. Who am I missing? I think that is- oh, Inept Guard. Uh, Pyro gonna be trying to defend this- oh, gonna reflect direct hit rockets because it's really super, super cool. And yeah, off we are to the races. The Spy in the backside. I'm gonna try and make a pick here. And the Soldier, he has to back right around. Uh, he's not gonna be able to get forward here. Uh, Sentry Gun is getting- it's only level 2, but it is getting wrangled. And the important thing when you're at the steel level like this is you make sure your Sentry Gun does get wrangled and you don't give it up for free. That was definitely not for free. That took a lot of a lot of pipe spam, and uh, your team could have done more to block it. But as a your engineer yourself, you did a good job, even if you died. Rag uh, Rage uh, tried to kill off the medic here, but not able to get it. Core fi corn fire. He must have popped his Uber. I totally missed it. But Professor Knots gets cleaned up by the scout. Regardless, they're not taking enough picks here, and they do rush down this point. Uh, second point here. Two minutes, two points. Really fast, good time here. Let's see uh, if the engineer here, Beck Noir, can get set up. Not city. Oh, what are you doing? This is real smart. I like this mini position a lot. Oh, he even gets a soldier for it. He could drop another mini. Oh, he gets sniped out by Hydro Senpai. Too many people came up here now. There's a scout here on fire. He's just like suiciding just for the scout. The rest of the engineer. Beck Noir, gotta be a little bit more aware of your surroundings to deal with that. If you just. Ooh, I'm losing frames. Like, totally losing frames. Oh, well. It's okay. This is a new gra graphics card. Still figuring things out. I, if I turn off. Um, oh, what a great reflect in guard. You get the camera for a while. If I turn off the outlines, I'm pretty sure I get back like 10 frames. I don't know why. Oh, and yeah, still losing frames here. We could try and uh, close out something real quick. I'm going to do that. Since I know what the team names are, I wrote some notes over here. And this could be a little bit better. We'll see, though. Corefire, going to get hit by the spy if he's not careful, but Rice Krispies not going for it. Instead, taking the ever elusive dispenser. Dispenser pick down. And that means you're going to get a third point. That's what happens when you make dispenser picks. You get the third point. Three points for three minutes, no sentry gun able to get set up here. My goodness, they're getting rolled. Okay, fourth sentry gun going up. Off here on the side. This could be sniped, and this could be spammed. I like it a little bit farther back here, or below the house a little bit. Stop any uh, kind of bombs from a soldier or something. That won't stop a soldier bomb. Well, it will, but it won't be good. Ooh, double kill coming out for the demo, though. So, oh, Professor Not got picked off by that, too. That's pretty big. Uh, Corefire has a super uber advantage now. Ready to go whenever. The Nep guards just gotta watch out for the spy. The spy is sitting on the backside with the scout, so it's okay on that, but he's also gotta watch out for soldier bombs. This pyro can protect his medic. Uh, they should have a good Uber or even buy time here. 
So they should be able to stop this right in the, in the, in the butt. And in fact, he sees them. And Guard doing a good job. And Hydra Synthay getting a double kill on the backside. Yeah, and Guard has this this uh, spy lock down, so that's good for them. Something you don't think about. Ooh, this is out that time, unfortunately. Still, the spy can't do anything. Still sitting in the backside, not being able to do anything. So Pyro's doing a good job not uh, locking him down. His engineer here uh, gets a level two finally, but it will go down. It's not uh, committing himself to it like he needs to be. Uh, this is a really good sniper line here. He can get this heavy, no probs. Oh, misses the shot, but it's okay. He can probably get the next one. Look for that scout. One of these bombs, are, oh, they're gonna go forward here, and here comes the pop. And the immediate counter pop from the red team too. Pyro, red Pyro doing some reflecting here. And Nepgard gets a lot of it, and a lot of flashing going down here for blue team. Not really what you want. Goes back to the medic, doesn't commit on it, instead commits on a heavy, which is, oh, especially with the other Pyro there, you can keep him off of fire. Not what you wanted, so weird uh, targeting there. Weird choice, I mean, it was a good, it was a good counter Uber, but you didn't have all the pieces in place, and you weren't aggressive enough, I think, in the counter push. That's okay though, we'll see what they can do on their side. That was just a bot, that looked like a headshot. But just barely a body shot there. And Nepgard gets cleaned out by the heavy anyway. All right, so be able to push it forward. Should it really be the spy that's doing this? Anyway, spy on the backside. He does get his, uh, he does get his uh, spicicle popped and he actually dies for real too, so. Rage out of the fight, it's seven on seven for the moment. No team has a soldier. Soldiers aren't super critical for here, but you can just be nice to stuff a little uh, area down here. The demo heavy and medic could go up here on the side that they wanted to. Instead, where are they? Way in the back. Oh, Heavy's way far. Oh my goodness, Spec Noir. Shouldn't lose. Should not lose your, your sentry gun just at that. Where are you, buddy? Well, I don't know what that was all about. Duel uh, jumping forward. Oh, they're forced to pop here by the scout, so have a big uber advantage. Uh, scout AFK for the moment. I don't know what's going on there. They should pause for him or something. Heavy going, looking around. They've got a good, they've got good control of this area right now. No one's really going on. Instead, a spy in the, on their backside. He could go for a sap. If he went for a sap, he could push in. No, messes around. He could have beeline for it, and it would have been okay. But they've got the cart really close now. It's only been five minutes. Uh, very good time. Oh, I thought he was gonna push the the heavy into the back, but he does actually burn him out. He gets a he gets a crit flare shot. So good job for you, uh, Twitch TV. Good job for you, all of Twitch TV. Did he pick up the gun? And yeah, don't. Misclick there. We could be protecting this pyro right now, but it's not. Still pushing it forward, reflecting stuff back. I like this. This, this pyro really like, knows what he's doing. He's just containing the area, contesting as much as possible, being a, a nice big distraction. Even if he can't do much, you can always give him a hard time. He's going back and forth, although, ooh, getting caught up by the sentry gun this time. They're not committing yet. Oh, what is this? This is quite an early pop. You don't even need to pop this, guys. There's no sentry. The sentry gun is getting wrangled, and they're not they are not shooting it down well enough. They, oh, that was kind of a waste of a pop. I'm really surprised they did that. They've been playing so well. They see they even just get it with two direct hits from this uh, from this capsize here. Looking for the spy now, and they actually end up getting it while I'm not looking at it. And 720 for five points is not, not a bad time. I'm going to pause right here uh, so I can switch up the vines, and I'll see you guys for the second half. Welcome back, and let's test this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And red team, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Within someone else, it's kind of strange. You don't really need to at this point in time. Uh, I guess just to die quicker. Looks like it. Anyway, let's see what Biscuit Not can do here. He looks like he's gonna do a. Go go go. Where are where are you building? Is that a dispenser in the back? Yeah, it looks like it. He's gonna build a sentry gun. Where are you building a sentry gun? This is really strange. Normally, you build the dispenser Mission with the sentry gun. He's gonna have a hard time. So there's metal right here. Metal in the house as well, somewhere I believe. It's metal down here, yeah, but that's way too far out of the way. He might have a, he won't have a level three. He might have a level two in time, but it's literally just him. His whole entire team is sitting here in the, in the tunnel. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so now we guys got on the roof. They're gonna use that same trick that they got used against. There's sticks on the back side of the roof, so if the soldier jumps up here, they should be dealt with. And let's see what. Season actually goes the other way. Most soldiers decide to go the right. Uh, the not right is incorrect, but the right as opposed to the left. Wawa bombs straight ahead, uh, die, dies for a sentry gun that wasn't even being protected. And now Ted has like a huge stop, uh, has like a huge uh, like height advantage here. They're all sitting in the tunnel, but they're happy to defend it, I'm pretty sure. 
Still really strange that they didn't... I think he was hoping to... That's a really far sentry gun. That's far back. Oh, he picked it up. Did he? I think he maybe it died and then he built another one and picked that one up. Corefire really, like, really out of position here. Uh, like, really far back. Fortunately, it's heavy and demo are here to protect him. That could have been a lot worse. Happy time, Harry, winning out the sniper battle. Well, now he wins out the sniper battle. Taking a two-man advantage at the moment. Getting the scout, too, which is nice, because it really forces them to put, like, two more people on the cart rather than one. So, oh, Jack Uber's good pop over here. Pyro, uh, doing, well, throwing back more. Just Pyro threw them back more, and he could have gotten more out of it. Instead, oh, they're going to get run down a bit. Or, there is a sentry gun back here, of, uh, and they and they forced Uber, and Confire's down. Got the got the medic and all that craziness. Is this a... This is going to be a hard... I don't think they're used to spamming this sentry gun. Yeah, he's not used to it at all, so he gets one... It's still good. The sentry gun's actually working decently well for them right now. Five minutes remain. A little, uh, a little bit under six minutes remain. Um, this sentry gun right here can hold out, I think. That might be enough on its own to win. And of course, picking off uh, the pyro is really nice. Oh, he got a headshot, but it didn't matter because there's none of those gloves. There's none of those gloves to steal. They're like, uh, he's got a good angle here. Get the med. Oh, nice little body shot. And nobody was, nobody was harassing him. He could just do a nice big old body shot on the med. It's something you can do if uh, you're not getting harassed. They should have known. They should have known he was he was uh, shooting down that tunnel. And it looks like what we're gonna have instead. Is we're gonna have everyone go behind them. And now we're gonna have a surrounded red team. And now, how are they gonna handle this? This is sort of the test of their character here. Professor Knotts went down again. I didn't quite catch from who. Corefire sitting not that high in Uber, so they've got time, but they've got a scout and a soldier behind them. This scout can make a good pick. Gets a pyro for free. Uh, Senpai's already down. Oh, gonna get the soldier. Oh, he trades with the soldiers, so it's a six on seven. They do kill out the sentry gun here. They didn't even have to use an Uber for it, so maybe the spy helped them. I think that's what happened. Ray Rice Krispie sitting in the back. Rage is out. Senpai now just coming up online. Uh, oh, he's way out of position though. It's not good. And uh, Phoenix Bear here could really just start killing people off. It's the sentry gun because the engineer's not here to defend. Oh, Scout causing a problem, but he does defend. And he could just, uh, yeah, he's forcing everyone out of this house now, just on his own. Everyone gets on the cart, they're stacking up, which is real good, and then they back off to the, the three here. So, four minutes for four points. I mean, this is a, this is kind of a close game, actually. This is like, I thought they were going to get stuck in the tunnel, or that a, lo a, two, a, a second point defense would have happened, but, you know, if they can't even get a, a sentry gun set up for, for three, then things won't be looking super, super awesome. They're, like, bleeding, like, consistently. They have a sentry gun here now, but it's going to get blown up, like, real easily, yeah. Engineer's got to get out of here. Soldier is just going to pop out, and they're just getting barrel. Oh, they get the they get core fire. Fortunately, with the spy and the, with the soldier distraction with the spy, they get the medic. So they get a really big Uber advantage here. But they're not. They don't have an. They have a sentry gun to protect them here. Uh, this medic is still far away from an Uber, 70, 25 percent away. Uh, Scout's trying to do some fighting here, but they're doing a really good job of just clumping, clumping and fighting. C Ted getting out a, another engineer here. Or no, it was actually just a scout, but... Okay, now we can set up, but... My goodness, don't be so brazen. This could not actually just dies to a random sticky. They go forward with their demo end here, popping immediately. Um, there's a little bit crazy right now. Uh, popping back and forth, going back and forth. Heavy right here, ready to take out a mini, and they do... Six on seven, so... It looks like they've stopped the bleeding for a little while. But this engineer... There we go. This is what I like to see. That actually might be a little bit too low, but I think it's okay. Scout fight in the back. Kathy Ace, oh, almost managed to escape that one. Kai, harassing out the harassing out the soldier. They have a forward sentry gun too. Oh, uh, Wawa was able to spam it out pretty easily. And wow, they're really pushing this down. Like two and a half minutes remaining. If the engineer Viscanots has just got to get set up right now. Like they're, but really, they're just not breaking the hold. Corefire, Corefire has an Uber again, and they gotta kill him. They gotta make him drop right now. Or else they might be in him for a world of hurt here. They're forced to level one, and here comes the push. Where's Professor Knotts? He, they just lost their demo man and heavy. Where's Professor Knotts? Oh, they didn't lose their demo, but they lost their heavy. He's forced to... He's uh, flashing a lot of people here. They took a three for two, but the medics are both still alive. 
Two minutes remain. Two minute drill, guys. Let's see if they can do it. See Ted looking around. The engineer wants to poke as much as possible. It's still only a level one. Oh, gets hit by a snipes. He's gonna not still alive. This is not the fastest way. Oh, he changed a uh, loadout. Yeah, he went to minis. That's not where you build a mini, bro. Build it right in the pit. The demo man gets cleaned out, and so does the heavy. So a lot of that pushing power is negated for the moment. But they need a mini. Like this heavy is gonna, this pilot's gonna be able to push it. Pyro on pyro action going forward. Sumo wrestlers go. Uh, they lose core fire, so that's good. Just not slowing around. 60 seconds. I mean, I think they can do it. I believe. Oh, wow, he just got a triple kill. Oh, the spy! Oh my god, this engine's here. The spy's like, I don't know why it stopped. And they're out of force and everyone back. Everyone's in the suit. 50 seconds remain. I think this is the, the scout's pushing it. The engine stopped it. Come on. And everyone's souping, people are falling in. Oh, two people fell in. Only three people alive. Oh, engineers there, and they're all wiped. You know, I think they got it. I think they defended. This is really, really close. They actually lost somebody here. Who did they lose? They lost a, a spy, I'm pretty sure. You know, they're spy right now. This is crazy. Pyro wants it. Oh my goodness, they're panicking. 30 seconds remain, they are so panicked right now. If they get just a soldier up here, he takes up the medic. They get, keep this fan from the demo. Oh, they're going in one at a time, and I think it's Oh, not if you drop yourself in. And now they're forcing people below. Heavy tries to do some damage. Not able to. Scout trying to get in. Oh, that was a pi uh, uh, spy. And now the uh, scout trying. Now the pyro's trying. And they're just defending. This is it. Five. Soldiers up here. Touch it, touch it, touch it. And looks like they did. That was so close. A few more seconds of that craziness. And I think they would have given out. That was so, so close. Well, that's... That's round one for you there, guys. I'll be back here for round two. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the second round here of the Noble Gasses versus uh, Bubber Ducky. Looks like uh, Bubber Ducky will be attacking first this round, uh, while uh, Professor Knotts and the crew over at Noble Gasses will be defending first. They uh, had a decent, they had a really good attack last round. Noble Gasses did, 720. Uh, barely held it out, though. So we'll see if their defense gets a little bit better this game. Uh, if they could hold out to 9-10-ish minutes or so, they'd be sitting pretty pretty, uh, pretty nicely, but they can't lose down to a 7 or 8 minute uh, attack again. And they're gonna, the Noble Gas is again, they're gonna do this like, one sentry gun and Mission nobody else, like, defense here. It's level 1 sentry at 30 seconds in, and then you're gonna have time to build a level 2, but then they won't get a level 3, so like, the big rockets that will do a ton of knockback won't be there. Um, I mean, the double barrels of the, of the normal level 2 still does a lot of reflection, but it's pretty consistent damage. There's not of that crazy over, overshot. Now, okay, here we go. Scout on the top. This is exactly what they did last time. Four, three, two, exactly what they did. Let's see what happens. The sniper could get someone. Looking for looking for him, but not able to find him yet. He might find the soldier. Nope, doesn't quite get him. Capsize does take a hit, but it's okay. Pyro is reflecting those rockets, and... Kind of a slow start. There's a sentry gun in, in position now. Uh, sticks going down across the roof. Looking for the scout, not able to find it. Again, the soldier's here. Oh, his capsize is forced back. He could get like health or something. And it looks like the spy in the backside was trying to do something, but not able to get it up and, and going. And actually, just saved the gun. Yeah, it's a saved gun. No, that's a rebuilt new gun. So, not much of an exciting uh, first point attack here. The, the cart will just kind of move around and make it. Three, just try and keep three times on it. Oh, they pop early here. What is this? This is uh, a pyro's here too, so this is like not gonna go. Okay, they do get a sentry gun for it, but the counter pop is here. Heavy, uh, we'll keep a mover, and he's gonna be able to get some good damage out there. Uh, Coffin, or co Coffin fire, where is he? Oh, they get the pyro for it, and actually they lose the heavy. They lose the heavy for like four, five other guys. Totally worth it. Six of guys. The medic, they didn't pick off, but. Like now the cards completely stopped. They have all the time. They have all the space in the world. They're rebuilding up their sentry gun. Oh man! Why do you pick it up? It's kind of a silly thing to do. Unless you're like waiting for ammo or something. But it's just okay. They level three now, up and running. Um, so now it's gonna try and push it a little bit. On fire again. Oh, Kathy Ace is getting real lit. Oh, he dies out. Z Ted's in the backside. That's how he died. Heavy's back here, and he should let his team know that the soldier's back here. But. I think the sentry gun, it's not going to watch it, but 
this meta is like totally prepared for this. He knows the pirate, the soldiers coming. Uh, they're all actually they're all whack wrapping around this time. This is probably the right call right here. Let's see if the heavy if the soldier spots us. No, he just gets shot down by a pyro, so that could be a tip off, but maybe not. It's actually six on eight. Oh, wow, that was an air stick. That was pretty cool. I'm glad I caught that. That was a really cool play. Good good air stick there. Unfortunately, gets stabbed out by a spy immediately afterwards, but just landing that stick was pretty nice and basically stopped the demo man. Confire gets cleaned up on the backside, so there's the risk of uh. There's what there's the risk of going around backside. Uh, if you do get caught out like that, really bad. And uh, we have a pause. It looks like so. I'd be, no, I'm you're just losing frames for some reason. It's very strange. Oh, it's sniped out. Happy time, Harry. Immediate headshot on the scout there. Really good. Oh, loses out this time. And uh, they don't have a sentry gun up anymore. Oh, we got a weird engineer. Ooh, clean up on that pyro. Not able to get it. I'm sure that did not feel super good. And now. It's cleaned out on the sentry gun, but the uh, CK does go down. Capsize trying to get out of there, but instead gets thrown back, and instead backs, tries to back out. The cart will be going forward now. No sentry gun was able to get set up, so they are trying to slowly evacuate out of this house, but we have to quickly evacuate out of this house. Hydro Senpei, again, from a 5k, really winning these sniper battles so far. Uh, they're now totally stuck. This is a really big problem. They're stuck in this backside here, and the question is, how are they going to engage without getting over so senpai trying to make it happen oh he gets the potatoes what is this this is like so much good sniper play right now and professor not really stuck out of the, out of position here is he like having lag issues he was definitely lagging out or something was going on there have you looking around that's really unfortunate yeah he was at one hp i can't believe that medic got uh, lagged out like that and then this guy gets the clean up too so they get cleaned out. Was it enough time? Oh, this could not. We're way far back here. They're like, we're just going to give up a third point, and there's a pause. Okay, be right back. And they do get the point uh, in the last uh, seconds I missed uh, unpausing there. And yep, three minutes, three points. Really, 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 really fast here. They are totally banking on a decent defense here on the fourth point. Level one sentry gun, though. There's no thing. Siege has just been really good about these sentries so far. Puts like two rocks into them, he's done. Oh, he gets another one. Oh, he doesn't actually get it. Rage actually comes forward and helps clean up, but they also have an Uber that can't be uh, answered. And uh, Senpai looks like he's going to play the, uh, the Medic now, and he's uh, not able to stay alive, unfortunately. So it looks like they made a bit of a trade out here, a little bit of a subbing. Or he just changed names. It could totally be the case, too. We'll check out the Medic when he comes up. Oh, that's Professor Nas. Yeah, they, they did do a trade out. And who is, who is the button for my medic now? Okay. Yeah, this is a trade out. Definitely a different looking medic for sure. They're down four players. Wow, 439 for four points. This is just a little crazy here. Okay, now, okay, this is good. Using the soldier and demo, uh, like, windows here uh, for spam. And got good damage down on Cathy Ace. So now the demo. They all, do they all just, like, play musical chairs here for a second? It's a little crazy. Capsize is able to flush him out a little bit. He could do a soldier on soldier engagement here. One shot. Ooh, who ends up the two shot. So he'll also get the help back. And core fire going down again. So, no met. Ooh, getting stabbed though. That guy, he will uh, work out and get out of there. But they can't necessarily just win this outright right now. They lost their medic. Senpai sitting pretty high up. Oh, this is good. This is a good sentry spot if you're like desperate like this. Like, you really just want to stop the cart at the last second. Is a really good harsh to we'll deal with that. And capsizing gets uh, Beck Noir for trouble. Did someone fall in the pit there? No, the pit just opened up right now. Spy coming back around, looking for Rice Krispies, looking for something. Decloaks, it's gonna have to wait a sec because there's no ammo around for that med pit. The mini there. Yeah, he's just gonna go if he doesn't get the med pick. Oh, he does. That was like, that must have, that was a crazy little face stab there. And wow, I can't believe he actually got that. Again, delaying here, so this is gonna cause the opening they need. They need to get a level three sentry gun up here and going. I was really lucky. I can't believe he just walked up and got him. The heavy was looking at him too. He was just a little bit too far away. Back up here though, Corefire already at 20. They haven't lost like a ton of time, but it's just never good just to lose your, your medic like that out of the blue. See, Ted takes out the medic, the spy that they had here, so. Looking for the scout too, makes a double kill and does get cleaned up by capsize, so they still contain control of this uh, bunker here. But they are coming to the other side. Uh, Phoenix are actually backing out of there. And the 
demo is on this one now. It's getting set up. Heavy. Running around with his... Ooh, that had no purpose, but that's okay. Perhaps that's looking... Oh! Not sure why he was looking at the ceiling. But he does end up getting the cleanup. He's been winning these fights with Seated, and that's been so valuable. If they had the, the battlement area right now, that would just be like they would be done. Spike gonna try and, po and poke it into the last segment. Said he gets Spy. He gets stabbed out. Double stab with a DR and then a stab afterwards. You can do that, people. It totally works. It's really good. Pyro med coming around the backside. They're ready to go. Pyro pops in. And they really need a demo man spam here. Uh, Pyro comes through. Oh, they just spam it out. And there's a got scout. Oh my goodness, I totally missed the scout cap. 720. Again, another fast cap time out here. And uh, I'm gonna pause for a sec. Gonna reset up all my binds and then I'll be right back. Alright, we're back to the second half of the second round and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Red, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're all ready to go on that front of things. And yeah, 720 again, another really, really good time out here. I'm just, I'm impressed at how fast they've been pushing it down. I really think that. You've... So both teams have had good time so far, so the defense seems to be lacking. And that that can happen sometimes um, here on, on UGC Swiftwater. You just don't have the. You can get a little bit like caught up and uh, and just you just kind of bleed a lot uh, as the defense. I mean, things can happen. Um, the trick you have to do is you just, especially as an engineer, you have to be quick. You have to have level threes ready to go in the position when you need them, and it means that you need to make cuts. You need to be like, hey, look, we just got to give up the third point here, or we're not going to defend the tunnel. We're just going to have a really good second point defense. Or something like that. Or, say, like, we're not going to have a fourth point. We're just going to have a really good last point defense with a sentry gun in the corner, as, as we had seen before uh, covering this map this week. Soldier immediately drives forward. I think that was kind of an over jump there. Uh, Capsize is really lit, but he will get out. Well, not this way, he won't. Yeah, they actually end up trading, which is very lucky for him. Kai actually going to get a, an immediate kill on Kathy Ace there. Not getting the demo man spam that I'm sure he wanted. Professor Knots, old medic, now scout, pushing the cart on the backside. There's a spy here, and he got picked off the snipes. Looks like he's looking for a scout or an engine or pyro, but no, pyro is onto the tricks. Really good. Oh, Hydra Senpai snipes up the engineer. Scout playing on the backside, sees a, sees a spy and decides to shoot him, but he might be better just going for a soldier. Oh, Capsize ended up getting a free pick here, and an Uber's already off here. This is like, I guess there's a, I didn't see where Senpai popped, but it looks like he did. He's got a good angle here with this blue heavy. Scout coming in the backside, trying to clean up. Oh, did he get the med? Yeah, he totally did. Uh, gotta protect your medic more as a heavy. It's, uh, it's really a flub on his part. Capsize gets shot out by Hydro. Again, Hydro making really good headshots. Not many, very many body shots in this game. Uh, or if any at all, really. In, uh, inept Guard actually getting a double kill out here, getting the angles uh, down. It's really good to have a pyro in, the, in this angle here because it's so harsh and you got a lot of cover you can use to your advantage. They still have a teleporter here, but I'm, I don't think they're going to find it unless they go up that way. Oh, uh, they do. There you go. Gets a clean out and Nepgar does some damage. But he's got to keep his. can't keep his back turned. Like that. Throws him back. Hydra Simpa is actually on a 5 gun. And he's going to throw back the pyro, put everyone off the fire, and he's going to choose to elect to back out of that. It looks like Senpai actually doesn't have an Uber quite yet. Even though they have Uber, they're not willing to aggressively push it. I think that's fair. They have a level 3 sentry gun up. Beck Noir now keeping up with keeping up with the sentry gun rush there. And here comes the pop. They were forced out this time. And uh, will they? Nope. Pyro is here to, to hold it off. He can hit one pipe. Ooh, can't hit the other pipe, so And now he's like really, really peeled off from everyone else. That's unfortunate. Uh, it looked like it could have been a good Uber, but the medic, uh, Senpai just escapes as fast as possible. Got a sandwich even too. Perfect, uh, perfect defense and evasion there out from Senpai. Uh, so, uh, Demoman goes forward. Sentry guns, man, with the direct hit too. It's just, what do you do? Core fire getting wrecked immediately from the face to the dome from the demo man. Hello, goodbye, see you later. Scout also trying to make this an even one, and they will. So no more medics from either side. Demo man trying to put some stamp. Oh, this is great. Really good to have a, a demo man up here. But this is an engineer right here. He's got to force them off. He does force them off. He's got to. A uh, high, uh, uh, high ground sentry now. Seat head to see. No, he didn't actually bomb out for that one. So, not 1 1, but he did take the engineer. Will he run into the sentry? No, sentry's already down. Okay. Gets a spy for his trouble. Seat head just really surviving. 
gonna try and defend this card as long as possible, give his team enough time to like get set up back in the second area. Vecnor already setting up for level three. This is good. Or level three. A level three sentry gun in stage three of the point, really. You can kinda of think of this like a Mario game where they won the second point here and uh, it's usually like the underground area and now they're going out to the cloud uh, slash uh, underwater slash desert slash ice world slash whatever other Mario thing you can think of uh, world going forward here. And this is good. Uh, both teams pushing from the long side here. Capsize is going to go long. It's going to go uh, wide though. You have your spy pushing, which is just not good. You need your pyro push. Well, it's that. Uh, so the spy can like pop this DR, which is okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. But... Okay, Uber comes forward here, and they actually they get a, a lot of people there. They get three. Uh, C Ted, Blue Phoenix Bear, and an F Guard. Uh, spy also kind of getting caught out there. So that's a four for four for basically nothing. And they lost the pyro, and now they pop. Oh, that's a that's a late pop. That is a that. Was a mistake. Don't throw him back though. Here. Trying to. Okay. Gonna run forward here. Oh, one shot. Oh, he two shots him. What a great. Good DH play there. You don't see that very often in Steel. Oh, he gets back too. This is great. You just see. Uh, capsize is going big. Going big with this. So this might be enough. I mean, three minutes for the last two points. This is possible. This is a possible defense. But they basically. They can't lose the fight going forward here. Core fire has to die a lot. And if they don't, they'll go out to uh, they'll go out to a one-one. So we'll, we'll see what happens then. We're moving forward here, two thirty. Okay, two thirty for the last point here. Oh, losing out your sniper at the very beginning. Not the worst thing that could happen in the game for sure. Uh, if you lose this soldier who's been doing so much work for you, it would be. He's instead choosing to drop down below. Runs right into the other sniper. Whip. And a kill. And they get a heavy too, so seven to nine. They're actually fully up. Oh! Where's the NG? Okay, the NG is here. It's really gonna come down to Beck to not lose a sentry gun to this direct hit. He's just gonna keep it up and they're gonna keep it. They're gonna keep uh, pressuring it and give some space here. They got a spy on spy. Oh, they got Ubered on the backside. I think this is actually good. There's two minutes left. I think they're gonna win. There's only two up. Get on the card. He's looking everywhere. There's only two people here. They get thrown off by the pyro, and there we go. Nice job. GG's all around. There goes the 2-0. Oh. GG, well played. So, I'm Turbo Cop. That was uh, game number three for the Game Apocalypse. To be honest, I'm now getting a little tired, but we'll see if I can make it through game four. Maybe even game five if you guys are super lucky. But for now, I'm Turbo Cop. See you guys for the next one.